What is up, everybody? I'm no Lux Given back with some more of that Hearthstone Battlegrounds. Just hit 5k in the last video, and honestly, I feel like we've kind of turned a new corner as far as the progress, the placements that we've been getting recently. The games have been going pretty well, and that's exciting because that means I'm getting a hang of it, which is making me want to play more, and then I'm just playing even better. And now we get to do a little bit of a throwback here. Sire Denathrius with Who Done It and additional quest rewards now. That's going to be a nice little throwback to the previous season. So I should be pretty familiar with this, though What's it's the previous season done, mechanics with the current season's minions. Destroy 20 enemies, add 20 cards to your hand. Do we have Naga? We do. Add Explore, add Reef Explorer. Okay, that's kind of a weird one. The end of your turn, give your minions plus one attack for your menagerie. Also kind of a weird one. Huh. I guess I'll take this. I don't have too much more time to make a decision here. And then I'll go Scallywag, I think. I'm not even sure if any of those decisions were totally right, to be honest. For some reason, the tracker has not loaded up. They don't know why that is. But, okay, looks like this works. Oh, it looks like it kind of works. Because every single one of my opponents is sired to Nathrius, it's a little bit confused. Alright. Well, looks like we're not going to get any info out of playing with the tracker. I'm just going to shut her down. I guess we would have gotten battle performances. But I'm just not going to worry about it. And we will just focus on what is going on in this game. So Reef Explorer to your hand, plus your Battle Cries trigger in additional time. So which of these Battle Cries are important? Uh, not really any of them, right? Also, I feel like this is... Yeah, I was looking at some changes recently on a patch notes, and I can't check it. I guess I could check it right now. Um, oh, they went crazy here with the Naga. All right, well, fair enough. Um, so I think that the level 6 demon that eats things from the shop now pumps itself. I think that's right. Okay, add 20 cards to your hand. So Shell Collector is an obvious pickup here because it adds cards to my hand and because it will allow me to purchase it for free and then I probably buy a Sewer Rat on top of that. Yeah. It's the best card left over here. Uh, so what other battle cry things can we even do? in this lobby. I can't think of really much with any of these things. Battle cries might be a little bit more towards dragons, elementals, murlocs, and undead. Um, we do have access to beasts, so we could use Rylic Metalhead plus what though? Plus Econ with Naga and Pirates? Not super enticing, to be totally honest, but Maybe there's something there. Oh, we totally wreck this opponent. Trigger eight death rattles. Okay. And now we get more quests, right? Kind of have a little bit of a menagerie going on right now. Cogwork Copter, adding cards to your hand. Buy seven, spend 60, play pirates or mechs. Plus seven, plus seven, meh. Utility Drone, and then your end of turns also trigger in additional time. Hmm. Well, end of turn triggering in additional time makes a lot more sense in this lobby. Then we've got Beasts and Mechs. I'm sorry, Demons and Mechs is what I meant to say. So I think I'm going to try to spend 60 gold. It's expensive, but I think it's a fine way to go here. And then I'm definitely going to grab the Shell Collector. And then will I just grab Lullabot as a 2-2? Two -two? 
Uh, I could grab Hummingbird. Maybe that's reasonable here. Not super powerful, but it's something. Because the Lullabot really isn't just bringing the stats. Honestly, the Sewer Rat might not really be bringing the stats here either. It's just the fact that like, like the, the additional attack on this guy might be totally irrelevant. This is... This is not... Wait, how did... Wait. Did I lose a fight? Oh, I did. I did lose a fight. I was like, how come some people have more armor than others? But I did lose a fight to that one person that played a bunch of stuff because they needed to have friendly minions die. And because they found double shell collector. Yeah, this bonus attack was irrelevant, but we are still able to grab the win there regardless. I'm gonna, like, take a look at what other people are doing. But honestly, you just gotta try to do your own thing. That is one of the awkward parts about the Sire Denathrius, the uh, nice Denathrius Animum Reserves up. Lobby. So this allowed an additional card to my hand, so it's probably just worth grabbing it for that alone. And then I'll put Taunt on Sewer Rat. Next turn could potentially buy three things. Tripling the Shell Collector will add an additional, additional card to my hand. Let's see, if we triple Shell Collector, it's one card for the Shell Collector, two cards from the triple reward, and then four cards from the gold coin, five cards from the discovery of the triple reward. So... One Shell Collector equals five more cards. That would certainly be a sweet one. That'll put us pretty close to activating the Warhorn. Short of that, it's going to take about... I guess maybe it just takes three turns either way because we're getting the bonus card from Deep Sea Angler. Maybe if we triple the Shell Collector, we'd be able to get her done in two turns, but... Seems tough. If we can triple Shell Collector and get a Rylic Metalhead off of that, then we can activate this really quickly. We seem pretty evenly matched against this opponent. We're going to trade into our Sewer Rat. Oh, yes. Okay. And then we lose to the Ripsnara Capital. If we can make Rylic Metalhead plus Golden Shell Collector work, then we also get to spend extra gold to complete this quicker. This is free, so I'm definitely grabbing that. Considering picking up Hungry Snapjaw... I feel like maybe we can do better. This triggers the Metalhead. It also summons a Sewer Rat, so it's pretty good. That's what I would have picked. Let's roll one more time, and we find the Shell Collector triple. All right, let's see if we can get there. This could this could be really good. Either way, it's gonna add a bunch of cards to our hand, so we know that that's great. Do we see Metalhead? Hey, I think I gotta go for it. This seems too fun. Awkwardly, the McCall has, like, four things that it can hit here. I don't know why I said, like, four. It has exactly three. Uh, sometimes I do that. I try to, like... Uh, what do you call it? Not embellish, but I try to exaggerate, and I just wind up saying... Basically, exactly the truth. Like, I just make something that's not even an exaggeration, but... This is a really cool combo here. Rylic Metalhead plus Shell Collector. It's going to help us get the extra gold to that get my end friend. of turn effects triggering an additional time. Obviously, I want to find the Beast to make this McCall work here additionally. Hopefully, these things go into Sewer Rat. Nice. Now, Monstrous McCall can... Okay, it still gives me an additional half shell. Boom, 
what do they get? Oh, they also have additional end of turn effects. But they don't got all this gold. Ooh, ooh, yeah, I'm active. I'm active. Cool, 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 cool. So my battle cry is now trigger an additional time. Which means this is going to start to give me four gold coins every turn. Which, I mean, that's... I can do something with that, surely, right? So I'm going to get an additional eight gold coins each turn? Yeah, we got to cut both of these other death rattles and cut this hummingbird. Let's... We have a lot of gold. Oh, and I also get a reef riffer. Um... Do I want to not get a pirate? What do I want? Is a demon okay? It's going to be a discover, right? Oh, let's just see what we get. I, I don't know how this could be super relevant. Uh, these are all death rattles, but Kaboom Bot's really good. Deflecto Bot's pretty good. So is, so is Lullabot. Just grab Deflectobot for just being very good. Yeah, I'm gonna level up, up try to spend there. some of these gold coins. Let's grab a Banana Slamma. Um, I'm like done with most of this stuff. Um, yeah, I'm gonna want this thing eventually. So let's grab it here now. Tactical choice. This could give me as much as eight gold coins in a turn, which is too much. Alright, it doesn't give me eight gold coins here. Like, I wouldn't even know what to do with that. <laughs> So I'm fine just making some other death rattles go onto the board, even if it kind of complicates things for now. Opponent's got a lot of stats here with their hungry snapjaw upgrade. I'm gonna take out and it doesn't really matter what we take out here really, right? Oh, I make another 7-7, seven, seven. yeah. Well that's pretty good. Do I have the stats to win? No, not quite. I still lose. Okay. But I take like six from this. Yeah, that's a okay. So it does feel like using this gold to roll and find more banana slammas makes a lot of sense to me. If I could come up with another battle cry. That's also kind of interesting. But for now, I think gold to roll. We have so many different directions that we could take this in because it's just econ. Mm, I don't want to I don't want to buy too much. I don't want to go down too many roads at the same time here. Yeah, this is what I thought I wanted. How close do we get to activating this this turn? We're still a little bit off. something before the monstrous McCall. I just couldn't put it all together, but hopefully McCall lands the 50-50 and gives me a bunch of coins. Nice. So I get to fill my hand with gold coins, so next turn I will be able to activate the mask, which will let me fully rattle up here. And from there I feel like I'm actually cooking here. I feel like I've made a nice little comp, 
and I'll potentially get out a shell collector down the line. But for now, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess around with the shell collector. Is this a kill? No. Damage cap. Might have been exactly 15 there anyways, but pretty cool. Spend some of my gold here, complete my other quest. So now Metalhead will trigger twice. If I put a second Metalhead out there, we get to go absolutely crazy. Or if I can triple this, I do have so much gold that I'm thinking about tripling it. Don't think I want to go for that this game. It's kind of cheeky to add more. Um, yeah, that's the reason I could have gone for Scrap Scraper. That's beautiful. Oh, need to sell off a gold coin. What are you, what are you guys doing? Oh, that's going to give me the utility drone. Oh, right, 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 right. Exactly so why can I not sell through here? So if I play this monstrous McCall, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, shoot. I wanted to try to roll a few times. Uh, didn't give me didn't give me enough time, but it's fine because I'm probably gonna add eight more gold coins to my hand this turn. So it's it's kind of whatever. Alright, Monstrous McCall will now probably hit on the Sly Raptor. I think Shell Collector's time is done in this comp. But we're still strong enough. I get to make 228s here. That'll be enough to trade with the Unraveler. Oh, and I maybe get to make one more. So yeah, that's pretty great. Oh, and then one more even. Yeah. So I'm making a lot of big boys. I'm even going to have some beasts to spare. Oh, and I get to make one more. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot of big beasts. This is a lot of big beasts. Banana Slamma, very good card, as it turns out. So, happy for all this. I think I maybe would have liked to have used this triple reward and potentially the Golden Monkey stuff to maybe find an Uppy Duo, which is one of the best uh, end-of-turn additional effects that I could have found. I could have tripled the Free Dealing Gambler here. So I could potentially cut this or keep it around for one more turn. I do think I want to keep the metal head around. This player is nearly undefeated. Hmm. I think fives are the main thing that I want, other than like maybe the octopus or maybe banana slam. Let's get out of this. Let's see what I get from Triple Reward. Oh, Mama Bear or Pale Scale. I mean, it's got to be Mama Bear. Let's start rolling here. Could have bought those. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. All right, let's just grab the Golden Monkey here to start off with. Actually, I can sell through this too. Let me grab one more golden monkey real quick. Play Mama Bear. And then I'm just going to play down a character this turn. And have Rattler land on Banana Slamma here. Great. So now I am scam proof. I actually could have had Rattler die first. Yeah, it's all about the same though. Because now I only get one thing from the golden macaw. Hopefully this is still enough. These are pretty big beasts. Oh, and I still got one more. That's right. I have to kill one of my things here. 
Oh, never mind. They don't. I don't even know what I'm saying. The board's too complicated for me to fully track what's going on here. We break through the divine shield. Is that enough to grab us the win? This is still going to go up to 28. And then we get to take it down. No, I lose to a Cordotron. Okay, I take a little bit of damage here. This person stays the lobby leader, stays winning. Now, I get two Golden Monkeys. Do I want to level up and look for the Octopus? Oh, we did get this because my end of turn triggers twice. So I can cut the Rattler this turn. Unless I want to put the Rattler onto the Octopus. Or do I just roll for Mama Bear Banana Slam? I'm going to look for Octopus here. There it is. And I don't think I want the octopus to have reborn. I feel like that's too confusing to me. I'll take a little bit of like insurance here. I think I'm gonna use that to make one of the banana slammers a little bit bigger. Why do they all have a little bit of stats too? I'm not gonna stress about it. Gotta sneeze. So I think I just make a banana slamma a little bit bigger. Better hire a recruit while you can. There's a pale scale there. Oh, and a upbeat duo. Oh well. There's not that many turns left in the game anyways. You're doing great. I don't know, ran out of room. Maybe, like, I'm, I guess I'm trying to triple the Mama Bear here. So that I'm not out of room. That was just embarrassing. Now my McCall does nothing for no reason. I mean, I guess I gotta... Never mind, they took out one of my Banana Slammas. I guess everything went perfectly here. What am I talking about? Grab another Mama Bear. Unfortunately, that doesn't allow me to triple it. And that's just going to take out a Divine Shield. And then this will make two more things for, like, 40. Or 30, I guess. Do we win this? I feel like we do. Felt like we did the whole time. Wasn't really sweating it. They did have the thing to remove all my reborn, but... Even though my octopus got scammed, it still summoned a 40 as a base 2-2, which is pretty incredible. I think tripling Mama Bear is the next best thing that I can add to the board. Maybe putting some taunt on the board. Uh, maybe just cutting Monstrous Macaw or throwing it later, putting the Slyraptor first for a few hits. But Slyraptor first also scams itself. So what's awkward here is like you almost have to go like Mama Bear first, at which point, like, what are you even doing? We're up against the ghost here, so doesn't really matter. Banana Slamma actually, or Uppy Duo rather, probably does want to get in here. Could take a Divine Shield, but we're going to roll past it. Another Uppy Duo. Wow, okay. So I could go absolutely crazy. And I could sell off Monstrous McCall, Mama Bear, Mama Bear. By Drakari, double upbeat duo, hope to... I mean, we're going to be potentially next turn playing up against this Sire. Which means I don't know how crazy I want to go with it. You know what? I'm over it. Like I said, there's not that many turns left in the game. Let's just roll down for Mama Bear. I think that should have been the plan all along. Um, if I don't find... So let's like do this or something weird and then maybe do this while we're up against the ghost. Try to make this tentacle as big as possible. I think you can win this thing. I just feel like we're going to be up against Sire Melodious next turn. And I want to race for impact here. I will make a tentacle. Oh, I might hit the metal head. I guess then I could still hit Sly Raptor too. None of those things mattered at all. And now this one will, though. 
and get another metal head. And then I put this up to an 1818. We'll see how good that actually is for me next turn. Oh, I might have gotten two more summons there. Yeah, I think I made it up to a 22-22. It's probably worth playing down a Mama Bear for if I can't triple it. And we are indeed in the finals. So I'm glad I didn't go for the upbeat duo shenanigans and then just, like, lose the finals here. This thing does not need Reborn. What am I playing up against again? Oh, yeah, mechs. If I can't find Mama Bear, then I think I just sell this these ones off. Find another Uppy Duo. I, guess, I was just about to say, I guess I would take a Banana Slamma, and I'd hope to hit another Rap God potentially off of this. Uh, what's awkward is I do have to sell off a Mama Bear regardless. So let's sell off the non-Reborn Mama Bear. Triple this, which I do recognize is less stats. But the triple reward, playing down a minion, also totally fine. Now I could get Ghast Coiler. I don't know if I want Ghast Coiler. I think I might actually play Upbeat Duo here, too. Thing is, when this attacks, it's gonna, it's gonna immediately trigger on one of these two things and then it reborn so like i don't know it's so weird to just like waste all of this space but i'm not gonna use it i'm gonna play five minions on my final board here and hope that this is something interesting this can't get a kill because it just doesn't have enough cards on the board and everything that i summon is only for one extra damage but I think this might have still been a good way to play this. Let's see, we hit on the Sly Raptor. So I get a little freebie there. We'll take it out, and then I immediately resummon it. So, is this gonna be enough stats for me? Oh, I triggered on the Mana Saver, that's awkward. All right, well, Octasari can still be big depending on when it gets attacked into. Clear a lot of divine shields though still, so I really want them to attack into Octasari ASAP. Right now, please. Well, <laughs> I guess that wasn't good enough. Right now I need them to attack into Octasari. Oh, this clears it, but the banana slamma wasn't there, but it it was. The banana slamma saw it happen. Okay. So that worked. We cleared their divine shield. Now we need to take out their enhanceo. And we're able to do so, and then we tie. Alright, tie makes me kind of regret not putting in upbeat duo, but I am happy enough even if we just walk away from this one with a second place. Battle cries and end of turns. Yeah, upbeat duo not being in is going to. It's gonna be something we all look back on and regret. We could potentially triple this, it's probably worth the coin. Could even just play it, but I don't mind playing down either. I almost would just want to put protection on this. That could be worth it, like a divine shield for Banana Slam, and not this kind of divine shield. Um, would I ever want Taunt on Sly Raptor? Would I ever want Taunt on something else? Well, let's keep rolling, look for the Sly Raptor triple here. Real quick. Uh, yeah, there's there's nothing else that I would add to the board. I guess I could buy this for a roll and hope to hit another one and then sell both of these two things. I'm not going to worry about it, though. See if we are able to get to it. Like, we are scaling our board, though. So is my opponent. 
Uh, if they ever attack into Octasari earlier on, then we just get a huge monster at the start of the fight. And then we always hit Sly Raptors, which I think is good for me. I like keeping it later on because then you get to scale it, but putting it at the front could be an interesting decision next turn as well, just to have a huge 150. Uh, or, I mean, it's going to be these exact same stats. 138 eats up all of the Mechano tank triggers. Right, we're going to get through some mech horses now on both sides of the board. I think we lose this one, but I don't think we die. A few more horses. <laughs> So many horsies. Yeah, because if we look at how this lines up against the Deflectobots, we definitely lose. We can maybe walk away with this uh, not not too painfully. No, that's that's pretty awkward. Well, we don't die. That's the important thing. Close. Gets very, very, very close. <laughs> Alright. So now I might need to put Aquasari first. I might also need another Banana Slamma. I might also... So I think I take this to protect my Banana Slamma with a Divine Shield. The awkward thing here is I would be very interested in... Um... The thing that deals three damage to everything on Death Rattle. That's like a good scam to place first. Could also just put any other scam first. Not really this one. Not that one. One of these recruits. Cool, that's a triple. We'll see what that gives me. That's a great play. I can't wait to see It's also this. the end of my turn. Faux Reaper to try to take out some of their divine shields. Seems like that's all we got. I'm gonna cycle through this. See what else we can find here, and then I'm just gonna play this little guy. Maybe I'll put this here. No, 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 because... Ah, shoot. I think I actually want to hit that off the McCall. Oh, well. It's okay. Yeah, now my McCall doesn't... Oh, never mind. It can still hit the Sly Raptor. This is going to be a big boy. Like, 150. Yeah. So maybe this can carry me. They tripled their Deflecto Bot. Could be bad for them. I get two more big guys here, like up in the 60s. Did I run out of room? Why did this only trigger once? Oh, it triggered the metal head on the second activation. So I kind of scammed myself there. The Monsters McCall might be able to attack again yet. But my thing is gone. But I get a Pale Scale Crocodile. Wait just a second. <laughs> Now this gets to attack and trigger the crocodile twice, but this is dead, and then I lose to the Deflectobot, which also had Microbots inside of it. That's fine. Second place seemed fair for that one. My opponent had some nice stuff going on, and I never really got to do anything super incredible with my quests, but we were still able to get a second place finish with that one. What is up everybody? I'm no Lex Given back with some more Hearthstone Battlegrounds and we've got my anomaly this game, Blood of Sargeras. Still don't know how to say it, but I won in the only other game that I played with this. Put that out on my channel probably about a week ago at this point. So what are we gonna do with that? My health is always 12. Summon a tentacle. I mean, summoning a tentacle with beasts always seems really cool. After you sell. So that's kind of good with... It's kind of good with pirates. You get a f few free extra cells in there. Let, let's, let's go for it here. Azumat. 
Let's make some tentacles happen. Made some pretty big tentacles in yesterday's video. Maybe today's video. You know what? Maybe this video is called Big Tentacle Power. And uh, <laughs> we'll make it all synergistic here. Busker is the bester with the tentacular. So we'll, we'll keep on keeping on here. I just recorded the previous video. And, oh gosh, I wait, I think this happened last time too. Or this happened with another anomaly. I think this happened for me with the anomaly where you start at 5 health and then people die. People just don't like this, they don't want to play it, so they quit. That's a little silly, but sure, whatever, we've got a 5 person lobby here now, whatever you say. We're gonna, oh we don't actually, well we still do, we still do lose our armor by taking 2 here because it's interesting the lobby order there was a little bit wrong um wow well, now i'm up against the ghost let's just level up here still play busker um the tentacle could have saved me there in some scenarios that's what i was trying to say i'm i'm all i'm all thrown off there's so much to talk about so i was actually just thinking like I'm kind of damned if I do, damned if I don't, in terms of when I press start recording on the video. I either press start recording like when I'm in the the menu of the game, and then that's like way too long, or I can do it while I'm like searching for an opponent. Uh, but that's what I did this time, and then it took like it took like a minute to find anybody. So then I was just like, okay, I'm gonna restart this recording because it's I've just been blabbering here. And then I restarted it right at the beginning of the game. And then I didn't have enough time to say everything that I wanted to, but it's probably fine because I guess this will be a two-part video now. That we've got some more tentacles, so there's like a common theme between both of these games, and the, the last one wasn't like exciting enough that it had to be its own game necessarily. So it could go Scarlet Skull plus Eternal Knight. Scaling is pretty good in this lobby type. awkward is like i want the scarlet skull to give me power but i also want the eternal knight to die should i just level yeah i'll just buy stuff it's not the strongest but it'll fight off I'd like to add another undead to this board. That's the awkward part because i want these i want to get the value of the scarlet skull triggers that's the value that I got from my South Sea Busker. But I also want to I think you can have this, this Eternal Knight die. This is not an undead. This is simply the beast. Yeah, so my... Oh, my Eternal Knight. Oh, I guess I got my wish. I lost. <laughs> All right, fair enough, fair enough. Looking to pick up two more undeads this turn. Hopefully more Scarlet Skulls and Eternal Knights. These are undeads. Sure. And because they have reborn themselves, we know Scarlet Skull's going to be able to land onto something. So it makes me feel a little bit better. They're not super powerful, but they are a pair. And the Scarlet Skull can land on them. So I think that'll be the way to go from here. If we can triple them, that's kind of nice. Tripling is kind of bad with Tentacular. But I also don't want to get distracted too much. I, I just want to play Beasts and find Banana Slammer because that is such a... Uh, that's like so free with Tentacular that I'd really like to make that a thing. You can't give the Tentacle Reborn. But the fact that it has taunt is just very nice. And then you 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 just you just buy some uh, sly raptors or something. You're doing great out there. Last game was actually pretty cool too. We played the metalhead and the naga triple. That was fun. It's like one went on the Micro Mummy, so one went on the Eternal Knight as well, I imagine. Let's 
good to be dealing some damage. We've got to get rid of everybody's armor. Greybow is going to be the hardest one to get rid of the armor on. Playing up against the Ghost a lot. Could take Patient Scout or could take Eternal Knight. I actually don't hate Patient Scout here. Why I do hate it is I don't want the Micro Mummy triggers to go onto it, but it's a free sell for my, my tentacle. So let's do that. I'll do what I can. And I could actually see greeting and hanging on to this long enough to try to grab a Banana Slam out of it. I could also see greeting and just going to level 4 next turn. Losing all my armor will not be ideal. But the sooner you level up, like... The sooner I can, I can start trying to put boards together that can actually kill people. The most damage you're taking no, in any of these fights is like six. And that's if things get disastrous for you. So do I would I ever just level here? This is a lot of stats right now too, wow. Uh, maybe I will just grab this for now, then. Grab this, roll. Relentless Sentry. Pretty cool, pretty good. Uh, getting additional attack on the Relentless Sentry from the Micro Mummies is pretty good. And then the Econ works out. I can either cycle through a Geomancer or might as well just cycle through a Gladiator. I actually could have rolled and cycled through the Patient Scout because here I lose my Tentacle. Uh, this might be better than a Tentacle, though. Alrighty. We could give Scarlet Skull Taunt. That's actually a pretty good taunter. Pretty good taunted. Oh, so is this. This is also a pretty good taunted unit. Alright, let's do that. Play it like this. Cool. I'm gonna get some bonus attack on the sentry. Awkwardly, like, I do kind of need to put my taunters first, so that way my relentless sentry can still grab taunt here. I, yeah, maybe I could have gone for more value, though, if I placed the sentry even later. Because it gains taunt, so then it'll get attacked into. So Sentry should go at the end of the comp, huh? Alright, no damage taken there. Could have taken as much as 10, but we are not looking to take close to lethal yet. Which, like I said, kind of makes me want to level. This is now a four-person lobby. I don't know if this person... I feel like they had to have quit. So yeah, let's do this. That's smarter. And I'm just gonna level up and roll. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. Kind of really just looking for banana slamma there, but I don't know, these handless forsakens are looking pretty good here too. I do know that this guy was nerfed to now not pump himself. It still looks like we've got a decent amount of stats up on the board. Hmm. 
Uh, I didn't level up to buy three cost cards. Let's let's try to find Banana Slamma. And maybe pivot into Beasts. One thing that's always... Or I won't say always, because I've only played one other game with this anomaly. Uh, but one thing that I've found interesting in that game, I will say, is that the game very quickly goes from, like playing tempo to being the end game and then nobody has any life and that's just going to be especially true with half the lobby playing all right here is the undead player of the lobby it is not us we got one more relentless sentry here I do not. All right, we are now down to 12. Anybody else? Yes. Oh, basically everybody else, except for Greybow. Just kind of what I thought could happen. Death Swarmer, kind of interesting, kind of seems late. Mm, and then everybody else is playing beasts. Maybe I should go undead. But I'm supposed to. I got a beast. I got a beast hero power. Is this fours yet? Oh yeah, yeah. Let's see what I get. I do not find a banana slamma. That's unfortunate. Hmm. This is really good. I like where you're going with this. Sly Raptor's okay. But I think I'm just playing Undeads here. Oh, there's a banana slam. I'm gonna grab it. Ritos can sing too. Ride or die! Where you're going with this? Kind of wanted the rattler first, but I just couldn't figure out exactly I how to win this thing. I mean, I could have just bought the rattler here instead of grabbing this, but I thought that maybe I'd want more power on the board this turn, which I think was just a miscalculation. This might be a kill. We've got a lot of power here. Oh, I thought that was going to give revenge to the sentry. It did not, which means I might not have the kill. No, I think I still do. These are both for four. That's 12. That's enough. All right. Yeah, Banana Slam is very good. <laughs> there is a reason I just jump ship onto Banana Slam for a free... 1818 and like it's kind of even synergistic because I sold off my whole comp all that means is I'm pumping up my, my tentacle even more so hmm. do I want to use this to try to find more beasts I don't think so that's kind of a trap. Monstrous McCall could hit on the Sly Raptor. I sell out of Scarlet Skull. I can keep in the Soul Spitter for now. I uh, could get rid of Relentless Sentry. Just because I want to play down a unit. So let's just lead with Raptor here. I don't mind playing a big Taunter. And when you Reborn, it keeps all of the enhancements, so it should still have Taunt, I believe, is how that works. 
real quick make a 24 24 at the start of combat if i can find another banana grave out did just lose to boss Hile. and they do not have any banana slammies yet themselves so looking good for me here monstrous mccall is going to make a set of 14 14s so this actually needs to die here and it won't, so the McCall will get scanned. This will still make another 14 itself, though. And then I just have to battle through two sevens. One in three, I hit my opponent for lethal. Oh, I find another McCall, though nothing to trigger it on. I think we're going to find lethal here. It's close. It's close. We trade here. This gets to trade. Eventually, uh, we take that out. Do we have lethal? I cannot tell. What's inside of here? Go here? Nope. So no lethal. No lethal. No lethal, no nothing. Uh, now I'm up against Boz Heil here, right? I'm just going to roll for bananas. Oh, there... No, that was, um... Graybow leveling. Alrighty. Giving the Rattler taunt is probably something I haven't explored enough. I think I did miss one or two of these earlier on, but nothing can be done about it now. Could go stealth on Banana Slamma, that's kind of fun. Though it's kind of well protected enough just from the huge tentacle. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. So what could I sell here? I could sell out of... Eh, not really too much. I guess I just hang on to Free Dealing Gambler for next turn. Feels a little awkward because I did absolutely nothing this turn. I would have just been better off cycling through uh, Patient Scouts, which is certainly something I'll consider on the final turn of the game. But for right now, I want to I want to find another Banana Slamma. If I can find another Banana Slamma, that's really good, especially because I got another player hunting for beasts. Ooh, Boss Heil could die because they picked up a demon. Picking up demons against the ghost is really smart. Against the other players in the top three is a little bit risky. They're looking pretty big. Which is part of the reason I didn't want to be on beds. They're looking good. They're actually looking quite good. Get to make 114-14. They're not going to trade through this. So I'm not going to be able to make a second thing off the McCall. That's always a pipe dream. Oh, and they have a Reborn Summoner or Eternal Summoner. That's a lot of stats. Ooh, I hit some really clutch breakpoints, but I don't think it's going to be enough. I'm out of cards here. If you get to trade off with the Helping Hand and then I take 11... <laughs> 11 is decidedly not 12, my friend. It was 1 in 4 to take lethal, 1 in 4 to give them lethal. Those are really close combats, and now we are up against the ghost. I think I'm just rolling down for Slamma. Could get rid of the Soul Splitter probably at this point. I'll try to triple the Raptor as well. I have some interest in a Tunnel Blaster, right? If it can blow up half of this player's board. And all of this player's board. Mm. Nah. Another Free Dealing Gambler. I don't think I need another McCaw. Get rid of Soul Splitter. A... Down a minion and up a goal. 
I'm gonna not put in the second Sly Raptor because I want my Banana Slamma to get the tentacle, I think. Uh, no, I don't know if that's true. I think I might want it on Sly Raptor. I don't need to play this up against the ghost. Good roll, good roll. Seems great. So now this turn, especially if one of these two die, this might be an opportunity for me to just... Wait, where did Rattler go? Did it go on Raptor and... I missed it that my Raptor wasn't reborn yet? That must have been what happened, that Raptor wasn't reborn. Alright, so if I can triple Sly Raptor, that is really, really cool. I might just consider cycling through random pirates and patient scouts here. Yeah, that's so tempting here, isn't it? Shell collector is exactly what you're looking for there. Wow. Okay, double shell collector. Yeah, that's that's pretty great. I think giving reanimating rattler taunt is good. Yeah, let's do that. I'm buying and selling those immediately, so that way I introduce more of them potentially to the shop. This only costs one to just sell through both pieces. And I could just sell through another busker here. I could still find one more thing right here. Nah, I think I'm just gonna roll to finish this off. Would I ever just lock onto Tunnel Blaster? I feel like no, because both of these things. Taunt. Boom. I could have sold through one more thing, uh, but the tentacle's already at 100. So, that seems kind of okay enough, but I'll probably look to do the same thing next turn. I don't know if I just cut Rattler ever and just play down a character. You know what? Let's do it. Down a and that actually pumps up my tentacle even Go further. One of these yeah, I'm fine with it. Let's play down. Because, like, you should be playing down with a monstrous McCall, and this isn't really playing down because we immediately summon it at the start of combat. So I need to make some more room. Seems correct to me. That's not going to do anything, but that's fine. This gets through a lot of their stuff, but... They're making a lot of stuff. They, they almost... They kill me almost half the time. Oh, the, that guy would have been good if I could find any of that. These are my last shots. I got two more 28s coming through. Doesn't seem like it's going to be good enough, but the breakpoints are hitting somewhat well for me. I'll take out any of these three things here. Uh, I guess I wanted to go there with that, but I still get one final 28, so that's good. Go here, and I guess I'm not dead, right? If this lines up against this, 50-50. No, did that kill me? That kills me. Ah, it was a 50-50 down there at the very end. I don't know how I could have killed my opponent there. That might have had to do with, like, really lucky Raptors. But either way, two second place finishes with two very big tentacles. That's going to be it for me today. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm no Lex Given. Peace.